But um, today I wanted to share with you the ba I realized, hey Valerie, More that Valerie. I use basically the same base for a lot of the things that I make. And I, I realized this when I started typing up my recipes, I'm like, wow, I make the same kind of base all the time and then I add spices to it. And I sent it out as the newsletter today because I realized that, um, oh, she's fasting today. Oh. So it's good. we're gonna talk about food while you're fasting. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I realized that when I when I was going to do this live, I was like, that's going to be a lot of information for them to take in. So I typed this information up, and that's what went out as the newsletter today. So if you're on our newsletter, um, you should have gotten that. Um, and, and it'll have the same information that we're going to share with you now. So the base that I use for basically all the soups that I make, all of the stews that I make, all of the casseroles I make, including the sweet potato lasagna, um, tacos, burritos, um, basically everything starts with these five things, six uh, and a one six bonus depending. So the first thing I start with is an onion. Mm -hmm. I always use at least one large onion. Um, you, you know if you watch us that I cook in large batches, so sometimes I'll use two um, large onions. It's got to feed the troops. I do, and, and we and we like onions. Onions are really good for you. So I pick an onion. I taught you yesterday how to chop an onion, how to dice an onion really easily. So it's not hard work to do that. This one is cold because it was in our refrigerator. I keep onions in our refrigerators because then you don't cry when you cut them. So an onion, um, bell peppers. I like the colored ones. I like red and, and yellow and red. Red and, and yellow orange. and orange. So I look at it orange saying red twice. Um, I use, and this is a large one, you can probably tell it's a pretty big one. So I use, it, match them up. If you do two onions, do two peppers. And any color you like, whatever you have, whatever's available for you is fine. You can even use green. If that, in the summertime, I use green because <laughs> we cook them. We, we cook them. We grow, we grow them. Yeah. And so um, I use green ones in the summer because that's what we grow. But so um, match these up one to one, however many you use. Then um, carrots. And carrots come in a lot of different sizes. Oh, I'm gonna throw them around. Um, these happen to be organic, These, right? these happen to be organic, these are small. Um, I usually do three or four carrots for every one onion that I do, that, so whatever. I like to grate them. Um, I was grating them by hand on a cheese grater, but I found that if I put them through the food processor and just let the food processor uh, grind them up, that that works well. The reason I like to do that is they can take a little longer to cook than some of the other vegetables, and so if you do that, they cook, and they, they create a nice sweetness in, in the base that you're making. Mm -hmm. So carrots. Um, celery, and my celery is a little wonky well, looking, yeah. it's a little old, but celery, about the same amount of celery as you put carrots, so whatever that looks like. And then garlic, and um, I use about three cloves of garlic per every one onion, although we really like garlic, so sometimes if the cloves are little, I'll use more. Um, I'm not shy about garlic, and I do, use, I put that through the food processor as well. We have a little food processor that chops it up really nicely, so I don't have to um, chop them with a knife. So garlic, and then depending upon what you're making, you can also add mushrooms. So that's your sixth bonus. And I use a lot of mushrooms. Like this is, um, how many ounces is this? And mushrooms 24? are just, I mean, they're also tremendous for they're, you. They're great for you yeah. cooked. So um, this is 24 ounces. If I were going to make um, a base right now, I would probably use all of this, like everything I have here, plus a few more carrots. And there's two ways you can do it. And I put this in the newsletter too, so that you, um, you have it. You can either, and I have a really big frying pan that's deep, you can put them in the frying pan, um, chop the onions and the peppers and the celery all about the same size, start them, let, and I put the lid on and let them just kind of cook down. If you turn it up too high, it'll burn, so make sure you put it on medium heat, don't try to rush it. And if it starts to get dry, add a little bit of water to it um, and stir it now and then, see how it's doing. Cook it till the onions um, start to get a little bit translucent. And then you can dump in your grated carrots and your garlic. Don't put your garlic in um, with your onions right away because sometimes it can, it's easy to burn it. It's easy to sear your um, garlic. And then just cook it until it's um, a really nice consistency. And you can add your mushrooms in basically whenever you want. They will release a lot of water. So you just you know be aware of that and that's fine and it adds adds kind of a brothy which is really great if you're making something like tacos you're going to want to cook it down to where that water kind of evaporates because otherwise your tacos are going to be really wet mm. and you know how tacos can be really messy um so cook it down and then you can just throw in your spices and your beans and boom you have tacos mm. and they're really really good um, i like to add jalapenos to ours yeah. you can add if you have fresh jalapenos you can chop them and throw them in um, pretty much any time in the cooking process so that's that's the way you make it i make it if i'm going to do tacos or casseroles 
Um, if you're gonna make soups or stews, um, I will put it in a big stock pot. So rather than using my uh, frying pan, I'll put it in a big stock pot, throw it all in there. And then you can add either water or vegetable broth and just let it cook till it's the, you know, the consistency that you'd like it to be. And then add whatever you want to make uh, your soup out of, whether it's um, beans or split peas or lentils or whatever, add whatever that is and your spices. And then I like to, we make a lot of pureed, I make a lot of pureed <laughs> soups. So at that point, everything is um, soft enough that I can just put my immersion blender through it. Um, I don't like the idea of taking soup and putting it in a blender to blend it just because I feel like moving hot soup from the pan to the blender and back um, is not safe. So I do use an immersion blender. They're a $20 tool. They're really not expensive. Um, and I would definitely recommend that if you're making um, pureed soups of any kind. Right. Just make sure the immersion blender is made out of metal and not plastic. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I mean we did, you did use we the plastic, had the plastic yeah. one. I, I, I just feel like it should it would melt, but it doesn't. Uh, it's yeah. fine. Um, we had an old one that was really great, but I killed it trying to blend peanut butter. It didn't like that very much. So, so we have a new so one, and it works fine. It's you know a twenty dollar tool, and it's definitely <coughs> worth it. So these six vegetables, five, and then the bonus of, of mushrooms, can basically be the foundation of every meal you make. You can make it and in large batches and freeze it and then take it out when you're ready to use it. It's very versatile. Um, I, I make it pretty much every week. I make something that starts here. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to share that with you because I know a lot of you are like, well, what do I eat? Well, here's where you start. Right. And then you can add whatever spices you like and, and beans and you've got a great meal. Boom, no right doubt. there. I eat it. I eat it all. All the time. All the time. And you can also put it in your crock pot. I've done that too, where you just put, the, put all of it in the crock pot including your beans like the whole thing and just turn it on overnight and it's done in but the those morning. flavors mix it. yeah yeah it's really so good it, you can cook it in a crock pot as well i have not tried instant pot with it i don't have one um i just i don't feel the need to have one but if someone wants to try it in instant pot let me know how that goes exactly do you have any opinions about all of this? No, just I'm ready to eat. Okay. Uh, like I said, I did send the newsletter out that has the same information, so you guys didn't have to try and write it down and remember. So if you're on the newsletter, you do have it, and uh, it, it's uh, available to you. If you're not on the newsletter, you should be. Mm -hmm. Go to rnrjourney.com, and you can sign up. And you can find it under, um, find what I wrote about this under articles. That's where you can you can find it. It's the latest article. I think that's all I've got for them. That's it for today? Um, we'll so, will, go ahead. <laughs> What's it say? So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly plants. Oh, don't have forget to like and share. Right. You didn't say mostly plants. I didn't plants. say mostly plants. Mostly plants. There you go. All right. Have a good one. Have we'll see you tomorrow. Guys.